Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Neville Longbottom, a magical artifact known as a Remembral, and Chapter 9 of the Philosopher's Stone, the Midnight Jewel. More specifically, we're going to be diving into what exactly a Remembral is, as well as Neville's relationship with his own Remembral. For those unaware, a Remembral is a large, magical, marble-sized glass ball that contains smoke. The function of a Remembral is in the name, as it serves as an indicator of whether or not you have forgotten something. It fills with red smoke when the owner has forgotten something, otherwise it's clear. It also turns clear if the thing that was forgotten is remembered. They are somewhat readily available for purchase in the wizarding world, and they make the perfect gift for your absent-minded friends. Now, who do we know that's calamitous and forgetful? Why, young Neville Longbottom, of course. Neville actually received one as a gift from his gran at the beginning of the 1991-1992 to school year. Neville's Remembral, as it happens, is actually the reason that Harry got the position of Seeker on the Gryffindor Quidditch team. During their first flying lesson in Madame Hooch's class, Neville injures himself and leaves his Remembral behind. Malfoy spots it immediately. Look, it's that stupid thing Longbottom's gran sent him. Give that here, Malfoy. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about up a tree? Give it here! Come and get it, Potter. After Draco took the Remembral, he threw it high up into the air, thinking that it would land on the ground somewhere nearby and smash into a thousand pieces. But boy was he wrong, as Harry Potter took this opportunity to flex his flying skills and save the Remembral from being broken. McGonagall, who saw the whole scenario transpire, was immediately convinced that Harry would make an excellent seeker for the Gryffindor Quidditch team. In Chapter 9 of the Philosopher's Stone, Neville explains the Remembral. It's a Remembral, he explained. Gran knows I forget things. This tells you if there's something you've forgotten to do. Look, you hold it tight like this, and if it turns red, oh. His face fell, because the Remembral had suddenly glowed scarlet. You've forgotten something. Now that you know what a Remembral is, the next important question is, what did Neville forget? It's never actually revealed in the book or the film, which coincidentally suggest different things, what Neville forgot. But we do have enough information to make some theories. In the book, I think that it's most likely that Neville forgot the password to the Gryffindor Tower. Later on, in the same chapter that the Remembral is mentioned, Harry, Ron, and Hermione find Neville outside the tower. When he bumps into them, he explains that he'd forgotten the password. Thank goodness you found me. I've been out here for hours. I couldn't remember the new password to get into bed. The Remembral was likely trying to remind him about the new password, but Neville forgot. However, the film has a different answer to this question. If we go by the events of the film, the most obvious answer is that Neville forgot to put on his robe. We can make this assumption because, in the scenes that contain the Remembral, he is the only student not wearing a robe. Did you guys ever wonder what it was that Neville forgot? And that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry.